Hello everyone, this is Grant Friedman, and today I am reviewing uh, Adobe Photoshop CS5's Content Aware Fill feature for Brush Easy. And um, what we have here is just a um, photo that, that I took um, while on vacation a while back, and it's just of a cloud, and as you can see right here, we've got this little helicopter um, in the background. And what I'm going to do today is I'm going to use um, Adobe Photoshop CS5's Content Aware Fill feature to um, fill in this black area with pieces of this cloud. And this is a really cool feature and I, I really enjoy working with it. Um, and so what I'm going to do here is I've just got the magic wand selected. I'm just going to click here and I'm just going to hit my delete key. And when that happens, you can see it pops up this dialog box, and right here it already has content aware selected. As you can see, you can enter in all this um, other information as well. And so I'm just going to click OK. And now, as you can see, it is um, thinking. And what it's doing is, is it is going in to all of this area right here, and it's deciding what do we want to fill it with. And it is using this photo as, as a sample. So what it's going to do is it's going to go in here, it's going to find in all these pixels, it's going to fill it with um, clouds that um, sort of match it. And you know what I found is that that this um, that this feature it works pretty well and it does things that um, if you were just using the, um, the clone brush and the spot healing brush and the patch tool, it does it does this much easier. And as you can see, it has filled in everything. We still got everything selected. I'm just going to deselect it. Um, and it did a pretty darn good job of filling in the blanks. Um, now, if you if you kind of look in really closely, you can see right around here, um, right where that selection is, is you can see that there's a bit of a seam. And um, so you would basically have to go in here and fill in this um, area um, using you know the clone stamp or the spot healing brush or something like that. You can see right in here it had a little bit of trouble um, figuring out what to do as the color sort of transitioned. Um, and that's something that you can easily fix as well. And it also works pretty good too. You can actually use the spot healing brush in here. And I've got the spot healing brush selected and up here at the con there's a little content aware radio button in here. And I can go in here and I can sort of use this content aware feature and to paint out that um, that helicopter there. And you know, like I said, um, I really like this feature, but there are some limitations. But let me go and show you an example where the content aware feature might actually work just a little bit better in here. And I've actually got this picture that I took while I was on vacation. Um, you know, just your sort of generic um, um, vacation uh, beach photo here. And I'm just going to go in here, I'm going to grab my lasso tool. And you could use any of the, the tools. You could use the lasso, the, pol the polygonal, or the magnetic, or, or, or even the marquee tool. Um, any of those features, any of those tools would work very well. And so right now I'm just going to grab my lasso tool here. And I'm going to select this um, flag right here. And I want to get rid of it. So I'm going to delete it. Select OK, give it a little time to think, and it deleted it. Now there's a little seam right here, but that can be easily fixed. And so now we're just going to go in here and sort of go in here and delete some of these other um, flags in here. And go in here, just keep deleting it. You can see it did a it did a pretty good job with this one. Even left in this this um, um, wake from this um, jet ski that's back there. And so we're going to do this. Keep deleting it. And you can see we've got some shadows in here. We're going to come in here and pull out these shadows and just keep hitting OK. And you can see this works quite well. Got some beachgoers down here. I'm going to get rid of them. And we've also got this boat back here. We can even take out this boat. 
Just go and take out the boat. You even see I'm even selecting part of the sky here. And we'll delete that. Still a little bit of a, um, a little bit of trouble with that um, horizon, but that's okay. We can always fix that. And you know, like just like just about all of these features, you know, they they work they work really well, but sometimes it takes just a little bit of tweaking after after you're done. And, you know, I could just keep doing this, you know, I could do this all day long and just sort of go and, and take out all of these objects that, that I don't want in order to get, you know, um, in order to sort of get the view that I really wanted to have while I was on vacation about all of these obnoxious people here. And so, you know, you can also use here, I'm using the, the polygonal tool here and just sort of going in here clicking on here and taking out, or just take out a big section here and see what happens here. We just take out that big giant section. Hopefully it will get rid of it without any problems. And see, this is an example of one, you know, just some of the problems. If you take sort of a large selection like I did, um, you might not get the result. It's sort of brought in sort of this family over here and that sort of thing. So we're just gonna do that. We're going to, this time we're going to take a smaller selection here. And let's try, let's try this one to see what happens. It's looking a little bit better, although you can see right here it's sort of pulled in a little piece of this, um, of this concrete structure. And I think you guys are getting a pretty good idea of, of how this works now. And let's see, you could go in here and, and spend a little bit more time with this image, but it looks, you know, pretty good. It, it, it really did a, an excellent job of, of uh, cleaning everything up. And that's it for Content Aware, and I hope you've enjoyed this Adobe Photoshop CS5 um, feature review.